Okay, so are you interested in making uh, algebra problems easier? Well, of course you are. And we're going to be talking about this equation right here. We have 1 half x plus 2 thirds is equal to 4 fifths. And I'm going to teach you how to solve this equation where it's going to make it a lot easier. But uh, if you can solve this equation, okay, and put your calculators away, but if you can solve for x, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then we're going to do this problem a couple different ways. We're going to do this probably the most common way that uh, students uh, approach this type of problem, which is kind of like taking the long road. And then I'm going to show you a shortcut uh, to get the solution, which is going to, again, make doing this problem a lot easier. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching math for decades. I love teaching math. It is my true passion to really try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need math help, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 1 half x plus 2 thirds is equal to 4 fifths. Again, we're going to put our calculators away. What is this, uh, the solution? Let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. x is equal to 4 over 15. Okay, so how did you do? All right, well, if you didn't get this right, don't despair. I'll show you exactly how to do this problem. But uh, if you got this right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in solving linear equations with fractions. Okay, they don't, uh, <laughs> they'll be like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I have no idea. Uh, what you're talking about, but that sounds awesome, right? But tell them anyways. All right, let's go ahead and get into this problem. And here is the situation, right? We have one half x plus two thirds is equal to four fifths. Now, when you first start learning algebra, this is uh, would be classified as what we call a two-step equation, two-step, right? So what does that mean? Well, it means uh, we need to take two steps to solve this equation. Let's take a look at an easier example uh, with uh, numbers that are not fractions. Okay, so instead of 1 half x plus 2 thirds is equal to 4 fifths, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this example just so we understand the steps to solve a two-step equation. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get x by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. So we want to go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Now, I'm going to be getting into, uh, you know, or showing you a lot of things here that are uh, may not be so, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say here? You may not have yet understood this, okay, about even one-step equation or basic equation concepts. If that's the case, check out, like, my pre-algebra course. I'll leave the description in the video. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. So I'm kind of assuming that you have some basic equation skills. But what we what we need to do here first is subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Remember, the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, is you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides of the equation. That's the cool thing about algebra. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Then we're going to add down in a column manner. And we're going to end up with 2x is equal to 5 minus 3, which, of course, is 2. So how do we solve for x now? Pretty straightforward. What we need to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by 2. And that will get x by itself, which, of course, x is equal to 1. Okay, so hopefully this is... Uh, you know, um, pretty easy for you. Again, two-step equations. Uh, before you understand two-step equations, you got to understand uh, one-step equations. Then you move on to two-step equations and then multi-step equations. Basically, again, this uh, topic in algebra is called linear equations. Okay, so hopefully you're like, yep, I got that, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Please continue, and I will. Uh, so here is this uh, problem right now. Okay, so we have one half x plus two thirds equal to four fifths. This is the problem that we're trying to solve. So we're going to use the same steps, right? First thing I'm going to do is subtract two thirds from both sides of the equation, and then we'll divide uh, everything by one half, right? We're basically going to follow the exact same steps. But here, you know, a lot of uh, students, when they see a problem like this, are going to have this kind of face. They're going to be like, 
what does this have to, you know, what do I got to deal with fractions? I don't like fractions. I got to do all this fraction works. You know, just give me all those, give me the problems that don't have fractions. <laughs> I don't mind doing those. Uh, you know, you keep the problem with fractions. No, you got to deal with fractions. You got to make friends with fractions, all right? Uh, matter of fact, fractions is probably the number one, uh, up, it's up in the top three things that trouble students. If uh, uh, students are, are struggling in algebra, uh, one of the top three reasons is fractions. Okay, you got to be uh, an expert at fractions. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is subtract two-thirds from both sides of the equation. And when we do that, we're going to add down in a column manner. So two, positive two-thirds minus two-thirds is zero. So we're left with one-half x on the left-hand side. And then now we have to figure out four-fifths minus two-thirds. Now the answer is two uh, fifteenths, but what you got to do is you got to go over here and do some side work, right? You're like, okay, four fifths minus two thirds, and this is where these expressions come into play. You're like, oh my goodness, I, uh, why do I have to do this? Anyways, so we got to figure this out: four fifths minus two thirds. What's the LCD? And you're like, oh my goodness, the LCD. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's fifteen. So now I got to change uh, the denominators to fifteen. Okay, uh, and then uh, so here. Um, I got to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3, so this is 12 fifteenths. And then here I got to multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, so this is uh, 10 fifteenths. Now I can uh, subtract the numerators. 12 minus 10 is 2, so 2 fifteenths. All right, now if you're like, hey, you went too fast there, uh, well, I'm going to suggest that you, you know, do some extra work on fractions. Okay, you got to be very, very comfortable with fractions. Okay, so here we uh uh, here we are. Uh, well, here is where we're at right now with the problem. We have one half x is equal to two fifteen. So we're not even done, right? So what's the next step? Well, the next step is we need to divide both sides of the equation by one half. So now I got to do more stuff with fractions. Two fifteenths divided by one half is what? Well, the answer is four fifteenths. But in order to get that answer, I got to go. All right, let me go do this fraction stuff. Two fifteenths divided by one half. Remember. We're going to change division to multiplication by flipping this fraction to the right okay, of the division symbol. So this is going to be 2 fifteenths times 2 over 1. Now I can go ahead and multiply across. So uh, 2 times 2 is 4. 15 times 1 is 15. And there is our answer. So we're like, oh my goodness, that was hard. Please don't give me another prom, Mr. YouTube Math Man, or your math teacher. You're like, hey, that's enough work for one day, right? Well, we can make this problem a lot easier on ourselves uh, and, you know, reduce um, uh, the amount of stuff we have to deal with when it comes to fraction equations. I'm going to show you this uh, right now. But uh, before I do, I'd like to ask you, if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, it really, really helps me out uh, when I do uh, uh, get new subscribers. Um, you know, I try to push out as much great math content as possible and share what I've learned about mathematics over many uh, decades of uh, studying math and teaching math, please uh, don't forget to hit that notification button as well. All right, so let's move on with this problem. And now let's make this easy on us. Okay, so here we have our fraction equation. And you know, listen, nobody likes to deal with fractions uh, because it's a lot of extra you know, calculating. So what we can do is we can multiply this entire equation by the LCD, the lowest common denominator. Now, you might be saying, well, that's fraction stuff. Yes, but this is going to be the only fraction thing that we really have to worry about. So what's the denominators? Well, 2, 3, and 5. Okay, so imagine you were adding these three fractions. You're like, okay, what is the lowest common denominator? The lowest common denominator, or the smallest number all of these numbers divide into, is 30. Okay, now how you calculate the LCD, I teach all of this stuff uh, in so many of my courses, and I even have a ton of videos on fractions uh, on my YouTube channel. Again, you have to be a master at fractions, okay? But if you know everything about fractions, how to find the LCD, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide fractions, we can uh, you reduce the amount of fraction work uh, we need to do in a, uh, an equation that involves fractions. Okay, so the LCD here is 30. And you can see here, I'm um, 
You take in all these prime numbers, okay, and these denominators, and you multiply them together, you get 30. That is, in fact, uh, the definition of LCD. So, okay, so we have our LCD, it's 30. Now, if we multiply this entire equation by the LCD, we clear the fractions out, okay? And this is something that you want to be uh, really, really good at because it's going to help you save time and actually just make, you know, doing these problems uh, more accurate, okay? Because you're, uh, the more calculations you do, the more you run into, you, you run a higher risk of making an error. Okay, so here's the LCD, it's 30, and let's just multiply everything in the equation by the LCD. So 30 times 1 half x, all right? So 30 times 1 half x, what's 1 half of 30? So this is an easy way to think about it. This is 30 over 1, 2 goes into 30, what? That goes into, uh, 2 goes into 30, 15, so that's 15x, okay? Now, if you can't see this, what I'm doing here, um, you know, you'll need to just kind of practice multiplying fractions, but hopefully, you know, this is like pretty easy. All right, now let's focus on 30 times 2 thirds. And this is the way you want to do this, okay? So 30 times 2 thirds, you always want to take the denominator and go, okay, 3 goes into 30 how many times? It goes into 30 10 times. 3 goes into 30 10 times, and then 10 times 2 is what? 20, okay? This is the easiest way to multiply uh, in a situation like this. Now let's go ahead and do this one last time. Let me erase this so we can concentrate. All right, so now we're gonna take this 30 and multiply it by four fifths, okay? So what do we do? Again, take this five and ask yourself, how many times does five go into 30? Five goes into 30 six times. Six times four is 24, okay? So I just took the LCD, of, uh, which is 30, and multiply it by the, um, this entire equation and clear the fractions. So now I'm down to 15x plus 20 is equal to 24, no fractions. Now we can go real fast. We're like, okay, now I just need to subtract 20 from both sides of the equation, no big deal. So this is gonna give me 15x is equal to 20 minus, or 24 minus 20, which is four. And of course, uh, the last step is to divide both sides of the equation by 15, which gives us the answer x is equal to 4 over 15. Okay, so again, you know, um, uh, I mean, this is far easier than doing all this extra fraction work, okay? Even though I like fractions, I love fractions. Listen, I don't want to deal with fractions as well. We always want to make life as easy as possible for us in mathematics. Remember, you're trying to go from point A, which is the problem, to point B, which is the solution, okay? There's multiple paths. You don't want to take this path, you know, go like this and be like, oh, wow, okay, finally arrived at the solution. That's the long way. You want to go the most direct path to the solution. Now, how do you learn that? Well, you learn it through experience and you learn it through great instruction, all right? And that's what I'm trying to do in, um, you know, with my videos is teach you things that sometimes are not going to be emphasized enough in uh, many math textbooks, okay? So hopefully this video, uh, you know, um, resonates with you and you're like, okay, you know what, I can help, you know, I can, I can apply this in my math class. And that's what this is all about, helping you succeed in mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.